So a couple of weeks ago, a subscriber uh, came into town here in Johannesburg, South Africa. I've also worked with them and, you know, consulted them on, you know, traveling to South Africa. And so we met up. And one of the things that made me really concerned was this was this person's first visit to the continent, first visit to the country, first visit to the city of Johannesburg, South Africa. And they were about to embark on a very big investment. Um, and when I asked them why, what their motivation was behind this investment, their response was concerning. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about why 99%, which is not accurate, right? But why the majority of African-Americans fail when coming to the continent of Africa and attempting to do business and invest. Welcome to the channel. My name is Ashley. On my channel, Ashley in Africa, I talk about doing business and living here on the continent of Africa. I'm also the founder of Africa Investors Academy, a community of entrepreneurs that are building remote businesses, and investing in projects for the growth of Africa. And I live here in Johannesburg, South Africa. So if that sounds interesting to you, please like this video, share it with someone who would find value and subscribe. It's free, it supports the channel. And if you really, really love it, leave us a donation, send us a super chat. We really appreciate it as we are getting super excited about upping the content quality here on the channel so that we can show more of what the lifestyle of living here in South Africa looks like. So welcome to the channel. If you're new, welcome back. If you're not, I appreciate all the support. You guys are just so amazing. The channel's growing. It's wild. I can't believe we're about to approach 40,000 subscribers. We're shooting for 100k and I'm two years in. I'm two years into this. So um, as you know, my biggest you know, advocacy for African Americans returning to the continent is through the lens of entrepreneurship. And so entrepreneurship for me is the only thing that is really sustainable at the end of the day, especially when you're coming into countries where, um, you know, essentially unemployment is high and skill levels are high. You don't want to be a person that's taking away, right? You want to be a person that's adding value to uh, the continent in, in whatever capacity that you're doing so. And as I was talking about this, um, this person that came, you know, he wasn't the only person that I see doing this, right? People come to the continent for their first time or their second time, and they're so overwhelmed and they're so like mystified by all of the opportunities. And sometimes where they go wrong is in a few areas, right? Because Africa is so different, it's different than doing business like anywhere else in the world. And Africa is a continent, as you know, with countries that operate in various ways, right? Doing business in one country looks like totally, you know, can look totally different than doing business in another country. And so understanding those differences and those nuances and taking the time to understand those things differences and nuances gets a lot of people caught up, a lot of people choked up, and a lot of people investing a lot of capital um, and potentially losing out on, on money and investment because they didn't do the proper due diligence. They didn't take their time. They just got really excited about the opportunity. And then, you know, something that I'll talk about later into the video that is a little bit cringe, right? So not taking their time and, and recognizing the differences. So this is why Africa Investors Academy, I think was so successful, is because we have done the research, we've acquired uh, vetted experts, right? To be able to speak to different parts of investment, different regulatory um, environments, different laws, different incentives that apply as foreigners, because that's valuable information that you're gonna absolutely wanna know. Um, as I mentioned, this guy, you know, he was talking about purchasing a very expensive business that didn't really have the best location, it was kind of dated. Um, and I think as we go into this global economy, things are changing, right? So making a trip and doing business, listen, and, and I don't even know for a fact, right, that all this has worked out on the other side of it, but I've seen it so many times where 
uh, big investments, big purchases are made. Um, another uh, group that I consulted uh, essentially came to this country and purchased land um, really, really quickly. And I think potentially got into a situation where they needed to sell it quickly and couldn't. Um, I'm in group chats, right, where people are buying these massive houses because they're inexpensive compared to where they lived. And then they're trying to sell them and they struggle, right? Because one didn't take the proper time to understand the, the economy, to understand the market, the viability of that investment long term or short, short term. Um, and I think take the time, right? And so this can essentially be why failure is imminent, um, you know? And so how do you avoid that? Well, take your time. I think partnering with one of, uh, you know, the, a, a local expert in a market in the beginning, paying them, what they ask for in a retainer to expose you to the market, to introduce you to people, to introduce you to multiple opportunities, not just one opportunity, not the first opportunity you see because it seems rich or lucrative. That's not the best strategy, right? So the next thing is, you know, that inadequate research, not doing the research, not looking at multiple things, not understanding the geopolitical scope of what's happening um, in what areas, right? Just, there's like such a rush and I get it. I am all about urgency. Um, thus, I've failed, right? I've made mistakes. But what I've learned in this journey is that time is so important to, to vet for people, for opportunities, and even for places, right? Like staying somewhere for a while and knowing you absolutely want to be there before buying a job is so important, whether you're anywhere in the world, but especially here on the continent of Africa. Um, and I think the, the last thing is not understanding the importance of relationships and, and fostering those relationships. And because in so many ways, even though I think here in South Africa, English is widely spoken, Americans, we speak American and South Africans speak English, traditional, like English from the UK, England, right? The Queen's English is what's spoken here in South Africa. And sometimes there can be cultural um, or lang like a language barrier when it comes to communicating, communicating expectations, communicating interests, communicating desires. And so those relationships take time to build, take time to trust and take time to foster into like interlocking with your potential business partner or your advisor, et cetera. And so that's one of the things that, I mean, even in the attorneys, with the attorneys that I work with, sitting down, having coffee every couple weeks to just learn, to just understand more, to be able to like share, to deepen those relationships because ultimately, that's what's going to get you to the next level. That's what's going to keep you from getting yourself into a situation that you might not be able to get yourself out of, right? So those relationships are really important. And I think the last thing that's a bit cringy is, uh, you know, we come sometimes to the continent with this, this savior mentality that is quite American of us. And, you know, we don't do it intentionally, right? It's so subconscious. But we have this perception of Africans as less fortunate, as oppressed, um, you know, when in actuality, that's, that's mostly our story, right? We are the ones that have been removed from our culture, from our language, from our spirituality, from our land. And so, yes, we have had a privilege of education and westernization, capitalism, and all of those things, if you qualify them as privilege, which they are in many ways, um, but they are detriments as well because we can potentially impose our beliefs, impose our ways of doing things um, in, a, in a way that seems a bit, you know, colonizer-ish. 
So, um, you know, when I hear an, an entrepreneur or investor say, hey, I want to come there because I want to educate or I want to uplift or I want to support and pay, you know, people more money. Um, I always my my brow goes up because i recognize that this is coming from a place a good place but just a kind of a place of ignorance right and imperialism where we think that what we know and how we would do things is the better way and while one of the things that i do love about many progressive africans is the desire to learn a lot of those things there's also um a need to like kind of you know humble ourselves and learn and be willing to understand why things are done the way that they are done so taking a step back and just being a listener being a person that is interested in understanding and not changing imposing shifting altering innovating um that's really, really important to your longevity here on the continent and your longevity in business here on the continent. So I hope that was helpful. Um, you know, we we can deep we deep dive a lot more in lessons and have these conversations in the Africa Investors Academy. My members have built businesses, grown their businesses, invested in projects, hotels, real estate, schools. Um, wine farms, um, hospitality spaces. So it's really exciting to see them grow and to learn and make mistakes, hiring folks, firing folks, um, training, developing their teams to be able to thrive and flourish. And uh, with the support of our advisors and our experts, we're able to approach things with a, um, a collaborative energy right? That isn't saying this is the right way or this is the wrong way, but how do we get and achieve the goal of, of increasing revenue or, you know, creating more jobs or expanding, you know, in the region or on the continent. And so that's the work that we're doing in the Africa Investors Academy. If you have an interest in building your business or expanding your business to the continent, we would love to have you in the academy. The link is below in the bio. We have several group coachings throughout the month, masterminds, as well as member-only pop-ups where our advisors come in and support with a topic um, that is you know, specific to the areas of interest for the membership. So if that sounds interesting to you, we would love to have you in the Academy. Join us via the link below. And until the next video, I'll see you soon.